Uh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Fire Emblem Three Houses. Um, as per usual, we do have Mist with us, <laughs> and I believe I had said, make sure my mic's the right thing, yeah, okay. I believe I had said in the last episode that I was going to do some off-camera grinding and stuff, and I completely <laughs> forgot. I got sidetracked by uh, the D&D group I run on Fridays. Um, they actually almost got ahead of me in the campaign. Um, <laughs> and so I, I had to... I spent the all, all of Friday working on um, getting that... And I've still got a lot more of work I have to do. Um, but I spent, well, the, the reason they got, almost got ahead of me is because, um, I don't know how much of Pool of Radiance you actually know, because I know, I think you were in one of the groups once, but it was a while ago. I've been in two of them. So, yeah, I don't know how much you know about the like the full campaign um but there's this point in the uh the campaign where you have to go to um the uh the textile house to get basically like items that are basically like um expensive pieces of art and stuff that give you a lot of money and stuff well they 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 give the, um, uh, God, my brain is not wanting to work. <laughs> they, <laughs> I'm tired for some reason today. Um, but they give, uh, they give the council some money, um, that they are desperately in need of and things like that. Um, and normally, um, like with the with the campaign, um, I have like gone in and I've made like all of the maps for the entire campaign. Um, that way, you know, I know that I've got everything I need and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. And what happened was um, the Kadorna Textile House itself in the original module doesn't actually have a map. Um, because it's just like two or three rooms. Um, you're supposed to go through a bunch of stuff in the, the, the entire district. Um, but the, the Kadorna house is only like a room or two big. And due to the changes that I've made in the campaign, that doesn't really work. Um, so I was like, okay, well, you know, it's not that big of a deal. I'll just... Um, you know, create a map for the, uh, the textile house. And I, I had a map for the textile house when I ran it the last time. But I actually kind of really hated that map, like, a lot. Um, it looked terrible. It felt terrible to run through. I hated every bit of using that map. Um... <laughs> And as I was kind of sitting down um, yesterday, um, you know, the, the players kind of got to, um, to the point where they're like ready to do the, uh, the textile house. And normally at that point it's like, okay, you know, go to the textile house, yada yada. Um, but like I said, I didn't really like, I didn't really care for the, uh, I hate stupid robot um but i didn't i i don't really care much for the uh the way that the oh my god that's so noisy i think this this thing is so noisy uh, <laughs> um so i keep it's like trying to run but it's not succeeding in running and it's having issues 
Um, it's probably going to turn itself back on here in a couple minutes, but I've stopped it just so I can try to think what I'm trying to say. Um, Lawrence can take Sylvain, and then um, I do want Claude to take, or Hilda to take Claude. There we go. Okay. Um, am I two units short? I'm two units short. What the heck? How did I end up doing that? Oh, I was going to add, um, like, Balthus, Constance, or Yuri, and that's what it was. Um, here, I'll just do that. Okay. Um, but so I was going to, um, now brain is, again, my brain is attempting to brain, and it's not wanting to brain. Um... <laughs> But, so they, they got ahead, basically they got to that point where it's like, okay, you know, we can go into the, uh, the textile house. Um, and just before the sesh, just before yesterday's session, I had found a whole bunch of, uh, brand new, um, like tiles for mapping and stuff. And I was just kind of playing around with them the other day and ended up really liking them. So I was like, well, okay, you know, I'll just redesign, you know, I'll just redo the, uh, the, you know, the, the textile house with the new, um, texture, you know, the new tiles, <laughs> tiles and textures. And that wouldn't have been a big deal. But as I was working through it, I started going, you know, the biggest issue that I have with the, uh, I stand ready. the, uh, the Kadorna Textile House map that I have is that all of, like, AD&D's maps I got this. were made for, were made using a, um, like, 16, 16 by 16 tile, uh, system. Like, yeah. Um... Which e each tile itself, each tile in the grid Let's being ten feet, um, and when I got looking at Kadorna's textile yep. house, the map that I had, That's the map was something like thirty tiles big, Leave it to me. and. I'm going okay. That's big on its own, but also. There's a mansion in the game that is supposed to be like the biggest map basically in the, you know, campaign. Um, aside from the castle at the very end. Oh, now it's going to run again. Um, aside from the castle at the very end. And that castle is smaller um, than the, the textile house that I had. And I was just like, I don't like that, like, at all. I don't like the idea that the the tech, you know, yes, Kadorna's family was rich, but they didn't live in, you know, a mansion, and so this shouldn't be twice the size of the mansion. Oh my god, something is stuck in it. So I was just like, no, I'm going to just redesign the entire map. And I sat down and... Rebuilt the map into a 16 by 16 grid. Um, you know, again, each grid being 10 feet. Um, and went from there, because I was just... I was not happy with the way that the, uh... The textile house was. Um, and that is perfectly fine. Yeah. I hope people can hear me alright over that stupid thing. I feel yeah, like I'm I hear you shout. just fine. Okay. I feel like I'm having to shout over the stupid Roomba, but, um, I mean... Honestly, I hear it, so... Yeah. Well, it also sounds different on the stream, so... Um, but it's just like... I, I, I just, I really did not like the design of it. So I sat down and I redesigned it. 
Um, and I, I did a big redesign of it, and I liked the way that it looked, and I got the map done, and I was all excited, only to then find out that I had built the entire thing on a 16 by 16 grid at 5 feet per grid. It's supposed to be 10 feet per grid. <laughs> And I had the entire map done. And it's not like, oh, I can just hit resize, you know. Because there's like objects, like beds and things like that, that are like, this needs to be, you know, one square big. If I just resize it, now that object is freaking four squares big, you know. And so I had to go in, delete everything, and completely start over and redo the entire thing all over again. Um, and so I spent, like, I started work on that around maybe 12 in the morning last night. And it was no 7. No wonder you're tired. Um, it was 7 in the morning when I finally got it done and said, I got it to the point where I said, you know what? It's technically still not done. Um, I got to the point where I said, you know what, this is good enough for tonight. <laughs> um, and I went to bed. Uh, so that's, you know, I spent seven hours working on that, basically. Um, <laughs> and, of course, then I had to get up today earlier because shopping and things like that that we do on Saturdays. So I didn't I didn't get my full 10 hours of being in bed but only three hours or about four hours of actual sleep so I got I don't know two three hours of sleep at most I would think so I don't get more than like four hours of sleep just because of the fact that a I can't like, it takes me forever to finally fall asleep to begin with. And B, I wake up constantly during the night. And it's not fun. Um, so it's, it's generally just basically all I can do to sleep <laughs> most nights. Um, but I'm used to that. So I'm not really tired most days despite that. But today I was just so in, I like I was tired. I'm tired because, like, I I got less sleep than I normally do, and that's not that's not good. <laughs> bam, bam, not quite enough to kill him, even with the bonus. But I have talked to my doctor about it a couple of times, and. Yeah. 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 They're they're always right there. Kill them. <laughs> so. <laughs> but yeah, that's that's been that that's been my you know, last couple of days, and that's you know the all that again to say you know that's why I didn't do any of the grinding that I was planning on doing. Um. Because I spent yep, my, yep. my entire day that I would have done for gr for you know grinding out those extra battles on all of that. So um, actually, <laughs> you can... actually, I don't know how that's gonna factor. So let's do that. Ow! This is why I'm trying to get Marianne to be better because she can. <laughs> She, you can level Marianne up to the point where because she's meant to be a mage, she gets all kinds of like resistance buffs. But then you have her up in the front line as a tank and she just walks up to mages and they like mages, clerics, anything. And they just can't hit her like at all. And it's amazing. I love it. So... It's sort of that like, hey, she's a resistance tank instead of a defense tank. But that's also why I got, like, I'm doing the Rocky Burdocks. Well, 
I'm going to do the Rocky Burdox. Right now I'm not doing the Rocky Burdox. Bye, Hilda. Um, once I get... God dang, I am getting nuked on this fight. Um, once I get... I feel like I'm struggling a little bit because I'm tired as well, but... Um, once I get, uh... Oh, yeah. Once I get, uh, Marianne's strength up enough that she's dealing, you know, good damage, then I'm gonna start spamming her with the Rocky Burdox, um, so that I can boost her def defense, and then she can just be the tank, you know? She can have the highest resistance and, um, the, uh, the highest defense, so... Um, sort of the other issue I'm having is I'm also used to ha having more healers than this. I usually have like two healers in my group. I only have one because we're so low level that Constance and Happy don't have their healing yet. But I'm used to them having healing, so I didn't even think about that I didn't have the extra heals when I'm, you know, grouped everybody together. So... Ow. But it is what it is, I suppose. <laughs> Can't get up there. It's fine. This is also one reason I play casual mode because half the time I'm like, half the time I feel like I'm struggling to really fully comprehend what's going on at any moment. I don't know why. Probably just mm. I, get, I get used to one thing and then that's not the way it is and you know it's like I was used to our you know when we were doing the blue lions you know I had the uh, the two extra files where I was going through golden deer and crimson flowers and I was so used to some of the blue lion stuff that when I was when I was doing those, I was found myself actually struggling at a couple of points because I was like, wait a minute, I don't have these units. <laughs> um, it, it, I think it really is just like I, uh, I'm currently like, yeah, I'm currently like autopiloting because I'm talking, crit. Good job. Um, so, and then because of course I don't have the units that I think I have, that <laughs> autopiloting is not working out the best. <laughs> yeah. I can also, see where it'd be a problem. Yeah. Also, I feel like I picked one of the higher level battles and then threw in all my low level characters without realizing. There we go. Oh, no, never mind. That's not what that. MVP Raphael. All right. A little surprised. I didn't think Raphael really got a chance to do much in that fight, but apparently he did. He did more than I thought he did. <laughs> um, yeah, that might have been a level 7 battle, and I was using mostly level 6 units. <laughs> this one's a level 5 fight, so... This one should work out a bit better than that last fight that we just did. Yeah, probably. <laughs> Mutiny in the mist. Let's see. Alright, where are... Oh, I've got to turn around. That's right. It's this map. Actually, we get to uh, do a paralogue on this map later. Yeah. Um, and it's pretty cool, because I was like, Oh, now I understand why there's all of this that doesn't get used. Um, <laughs> it's actually a couple of maps, so that, like, 
I, I used I was looking at going why is this map so big but then so little of it gets used and then I found out that oh they're Hi, also in like paralogs which is why um Constance with Shalera and then did I get Claude and Hilda? I did. Okay. So now I can have somebody else take Claude. Raphael, <laughs> Ignatz, or Lysithia. Um, let's do Lysithia with Claude. Although Claude and Cyril have some really interesting supports. Um, so once we get Cyril, we'll have to... Um, work on getting Cyril and uh, Claude supports up. Because, you know, they're both Elmiran, so... Okay. Hopefully it won't run yeah. anymore. I don't know how to program it not to run. I have no idea. So... Yeah, they have, they have some... In, they only have two. Um, but they have some interesting supports, and the, their B rank—they can only go up to B rank. Um, but and their B rank is time skip locked, so it's like we'll get their C rank, and then they'll be later in the other half of the game before we can get the B rank. Um, but it makes sense when you see it. Um, But yeah, they they have some interest. They, they have some interesting ones. So, oh yeah, they don't have any support. So that rally was completely pointless. Uh, I guess I can Nosferatu. too. His face. <laughs> Great job, Balthus. Ready anytime. I got this. Do 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 do. I stand ready. Oh, I probably don't have the audio delay turned back on. Oh well. Yep. I did turn on the audio delay for the last Fire Emblem stream. But then we did D and D, so I turned it off. And I just realized that I don't think I turned it back on. Oh well. I couldn't see work. Welcome back from mm. Stink. <laughs> yep, at least it seemed like I was, so. <laughs> Never know for sure. <laughs> at least until I start screaming at you that you're ghosting. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah, see? No damage. Just freaking get Marianne in there to deal with all the mages. Freaking four four punch attacks with really good strength and like <laughs> million resistance. She's unstoppable when it comes to mages. I love it. It's so cool. <laughs> Beachell. Beachell playing ACNH, which I still don't have. I, I've i never been certain about Animal Crossing games. Um, I've never played them, so... I've never, like... I've never, you know, I've never played them, so I've never really had the chance to say, like, yeah, I like this, or no, I don't like this. So I've been like, I don't know if I would like it or not because like it's but whenever I see Animal Crossing games I go they look kind of like a Harvest Moon Stardew Valley type game um, which I do enjoy but at the same time I don't know for sure if I would enjoy until I've actually had a chance to play so <laughs> Of 
Honestly, I've never really played... Well, I've never played Animal Cross myself either. Hmm. I'm in the same boat. I've never really had a chance to play. Yeah. No, I... My brother-in-law had it for the GameCube. Um... So I... I had the chance to play it, but the you know it's one of those games where like you know it it like it plays itself you know when you're offline and you know the GameCube used you know the memory cards and things so you only ever had like one save and. Hey, buddy. So because he was playing, you know, he played the game, I couldn't, like, make my own save and play. Um, <laughs> so, I was like... Streaming? I, you know, I had, I had the game to play, but I never had really, even even when I had it to play, <laughs> I didn't really have the um, chance to play. Bear be a second. Okay. So... <laughs> that said, though, this game was donated by C my friend Card, um, and I've mentioned it before, but uh, if, if people buy me games, I do play them. If anybody would want to get me the game... I wouldn't say no. I actually used to do requ request streams a long time ago. Technically, I still do them in that regard. So if you if you request it by buying it, I will play it. You know, bam, dead. Oh my god, I miss being able to freaking um attack with magic close range in Fire Emblem Heroes. That. I was so used to not being able to attack with magic close range because of heroes. Then I, I played this game and now it just trips me up every time. <laughs> there goes my mom's cat. I could use a break. I couldn't work. So you wanna know something that's kinda of ridiculous about what? Fire Emblem or or at least about me and Fire Emblem Three Houses. What? So I've done what is essentially what you could call like three runs of this game because I've done like the you know, the full blue lions run and then you know the the golden deer first half of the golden deer twice and then the first half of the crimson flowers twice. Um, in all of that time that I have played this game, it was only. Um, I think the last time that I was doing, um, the, uh, uh, the Golden Deer on stream before this run, um, this is one of the last couple of streams where I was, uh, doing that, that I actually figured out what the little arrows on the characters mean. Yeah, like the uh, the green arrows and the yellow arrows and the red arrow has like three, two, and one. Um, oh, your battalion durability? Yeah, yeah my ba my battalion durability. <coughs> yes, I I literally very recently figured out that that's what that was. I went through that entire blue lion throughout without realizing that that's what that was. Um, I, like, I kept wondering, like, I, I don't understand what these arrows are, because some people have, like, 
three green arrows and some people have you know two yellows and there, some people have a red and then some people have none like I, I it I don't know it just never clicked to me that that was the battalion durability I don't know why it just never did um, I want to add Grab Yuri at this point. Um, Raphael and Ignatz can still take Claude. So let's do Raphael. Um, did I ever get that? Yes, okay. Whew, finally. Um, Shalera still needs Constant. So I have still not gotten that between them. Um, that's fine. I think I, I think I just haven't had Constance attack enough. Um, and then does Lysithia still need anybody other than Sylvain Balthus? Um, so Balthus is level seven. Lysithia is level eight. Hilda's level 9. Actually, who does Hilda still need? Raphael, Ignatz. Um, nobody that I currently have available other than Raphael, Ignatz, and Lysithia, who I currently have in party. Um, hmm. Ow, wait. I don't know. That's right. No, never mind. I, I, I know what. Confusing myself for no reason. Um, oh, really? Marianne and Ash have. Oh, that's right. Yeah. I remember that now. Um. And then there's Sylvain. Let's drop Hilda. We'll add Sylvain and he can take Ash. That's fine. Um. Trying to just figure out like who needs levels, who doesn't need levels, who <laughs> needs support. Oh, um. Hmm. The category is wrong. The category is wrong. I told that to update like four times. It should say what. I think it still says, hang on. I think I have to go to Twitch itself to fix it because it's not letting me fix it on OBS. <coughs> Every time I change it, it just turns it back to D&D, so. Got stream info. See, on this freaking On the stream info, on the, there we go, okay. I was say, on the stream info on Twitch's dashboard, it said Fire Emblem, so, I don't know. I was a little bit annoyed, <laughs> honestly. It's happy, okay. Uh, might as well go into the market and just do quick replenish. I'm seeing a lot of reds. Um, but yeah, like I said, it, it's kind of ridiculous when you think about it. It's like, how have you gone this long into the game and not realized that's your <laughs> battalion durability? It's, I don't know. I never figured it out. I think it was... Um, I was watching Nico's playthrough. Um... <laughs> And he was using that strategy with the the Scythe of Sariel and um, the uh, the ba battalion um, like retribution or whatever it is, the one that lets you basically attack um, like attack first if your durability 
if your battalion durability is under one third. Uh huh. Um, and he was doing that because you know you, the scythe gives you the ability to counterattack from any range. And he had he had to repair his battalion. That that was like the eighth time that I had changed. Um, because I did it like twice on the uh, the freaking on OBS here. Um, but uh, he was doing that strategy, and I was like, oh, that's an interesting strategy. It's definitely you know not one that I had realized you could do. Granted, we didn't get the Scythe of Sariel because we didn't get that, um, <laughs> that, you know, we didn't get that, uh, that paralogue with the Death Knight because we didn't have Caspar. Um, but like, I was watching him and he ended up, he, you know, he lost durability in his, um, uh, you know, in Dimitri's battalion down to zero, you know, not ended up with it down at zero. And, you know, so you had to repair it. And I'm watching him play. And he, he meant, you know, he goes, Oh, you know, hey, look, it's the red arrow. You know what that means? And I went, wait, what does that mean? <laughs> and that's when I realized, like, what was going on. And then I looked at my, like, units that, like, same day. And I was like, Oh, that's what that's meant this whole time. <laughs> it was, it was quite sad that it took me that long to figure out. But what can you do? Who knew? Um. Okay, that's just a <laughs> random message. Um. But yeah, it's, it's a little sad that it took me that long to realize, but it really did take me that long to realize. So. Get up there, Sylvain. Well, you realize eventually, that's the important bit. Hmm? You did realize eventually, and that's the important bit. <laughs> right. Yeah, I did. You know, I did eventually come to the realization. And I was like, oh, you know, now that I realize, that makes a lot of sense. That's what you get. So, it's just. I think it was just the fact that I kept having units that didn't have battalions, and I didn't. You saw the wrong person. I like, I, I never came to the realization that the units without the battalions were the units sure that thing. didn't have any of the arrows. <laughs> so. So just, it took a while, but I did, you know, I did finally come to the realization of what was going on and whatnot. So, leave it to me. I just worked harder. I got this. Raphael and Sylvain. Hope Sylvain can handle that. I just realized he's only like level five. Well, he's really the one that needs the experience, but freaking I mean that thank you for that. I was gonna start was just about to say, but Leone can't seem to do any damage right now. <laughs> and then she lands a freaking crit right then and there. I'm like eh, and then she does that so that I, I forget ready. everything that I was about to say right there about she can't hit nothing. Um Yeah. Draw at least some of the aggro away from her. Yuri is ridiculously strong, though. 
feel like every time I have Yuri attack with his sword, he just demolishes the enemy. And it's just like, wow. <laughs> Get him, Sylvain. Ow. Alright. Um. Raphael can deal with you. I'm usually so much better at these fights when I. When I just have the ability to just fight instead of trying to, like. Talk and fight at the same time. <laughs> and I'm sure that's probably true about just about every YouTuber slash streamer slash anything. It really is like, because you're trying to think of what you're doing on the screen and you're trying to talk and it's like, that, that uses two, two different parts of your brain, you know? It's not easy to do. Can indeed it's not. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm sure you can understand that, being that you stream regularly. You can catch her streams over at twitch.tv slash mistthelf, by the way. She streams, you know, during the day. So, people watching the VOD might be able to come to your streams, because... I don't know, maybe they're watching during, during the day, since that's when I upload the VODs. Perhaps they are. Then I don't even know how many people that actually watch, actually, you know, how many people actually watch the VODs, so I haven't really honestly sat down and looked at the, uh, I know I should, you see I'll sit down and actually look at the, uh, like the stats and things more, but I just don't look at them that much. Partially because there's a degree of like, I don't want to know because that's depressing when I look at something and it's got like one view or even zero, which is regular, one and one or zero. But like at the same time, there's still that like, I really should so that I know what people actually are interested in. But at the same time, I guess another part of it is like, even if I do look at them, it doesn't matter. Did I not do three fights? Did I, did I do one of the regular auxiliaries on accident? I think I did. God dang it. I think I did one of the um, zero. Uh, yeah, because it was the lower leveled one. Yeah. I, did, I think I did that one on accident without even thinking about it. Because I think I was talking at the time, so. Oh, well, this one should go by. Decently quick. Um, just need Ignats now for Claude. Gonna have a lot of Claude supports after this. <laughs> I, I have almost all of his right now. <laughs> um, let's see. Um, so I needed Ignats to take Claude. Um... I think I still need Constance. God, am I just not getting any attacks off of Constance or something? I feel like I'm not building any rep with Constance here. Slightly annoying. Um, Fael, Ignatz, and Lysithia. So let's take Hilda then. That'll work. I feel like I must just not be getting attacks off with Constance. Hum ba -dum. That should work. <laughs> I got this. I got this. Yes, you do. Training sword plus. Stand ready. Sure thing. 
I do need to get attacks off yep. with Constance this time though if I can. Ready anytime. Ooh. Put him there, I get like aggro everything on him. Leave it to me. <laughs> they're they're just fast enough that they can get through the forest, I guess, to get to him. But it's whatever. I've done this I've done this fight basically so many times because freaking Like the, this is the one that you do like three times when you have um, enough renown to get professor level. Like max out your professor level at the beginning with New Game Plus. So, or I should say it's the same field at least. Dead. There we go. There's some there's some attacks with Constance for once. I don't know if a level up is enough, but it's a start. Ah, right. Stupid misses. Oh, they got Helm Splitter. Very nice. It is pretty nice, actually. <laughs> Level 10 Claude. Very nice. Very nice. Um, who needs the experience? Sylvain needs the experience. Yellow ones give you experience. Freaking God, these guys have ridiculous freaking dodge or whatever. And then of course Yuri comes in and is just like, yeah, no. He's so good at using the sword, it's kind of ridiculous. But then he's, he's sort of like Raphael. Raphael is just ridiculous at freaking gauntlets. And Yuri's just ridiculous at freaking sword. So. Have a light. Alright, Constance, you finish this guy off. Hopefully that will help with affinity between her and Shalera. <coughs> I know some of it is that I'm like rushing here. Um, and so I'm not getting, like I'm not seeing like... Oh, this is only gonna you have to just gonna leave the enemy with like two health or whatever. Um But at the same time I'm also just trying to go through it so that I can get through the fights. Especially this one, because I didn't mean to do a fourth fight. <laughs> I was just gonna do the three, and then I guess I picked the wrong one earlier, and now I have more fights than I had thought of. Mm. It happens sometimes. Yeah. It do. Poor Raphael, though. He has no resistance. He's getting ganged up on by freaking mages here. 
Jeez! It's literally getting ganged up on by mages over here. God dang. I wonder what the max level in this game is, though. I mean, I've gotten up to, I think, 40-something before. Um, I don't know if I've ever gotten up to, like, 50. But my last Golden Deer run, I was feeling like I might get up to freaking 50. Because I was already pushing 35 even before the time skip. So, we'll see how this one goes. Indeed. Best of all, then, it's very important that we remember that Yuri has the crest of Auburn. <laughs> because I had completely forgotten that at one point. Magnificent. Alright, um. If you say so. Just gonna have him use a Vulnery, I guess, because he's. He may in space still not survive even with the Vulnery, because he's still gonna get hit by this freaking mage over here. Or cleric, I guess, technically. Priest. Whatever this game wants to call him. Oh, he, also, he survived because of the Vulnery. How about that? Good. I've always grown up with D&D &D and D&D's term, so I'm just used to the idea that it's cleric for your general healing class. Priest makes perfect sense, don't get me wrong, it's just, I've always I mean, been most other games have them as clerics as well. Priests yeah. are something different. Right. Clerics, clerics tend to be, like... The armored healer, so because clerics can use armor usually and can heal that way. Yep. <sighs> All right. Do to do to do to do to do to do 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 I was a little con I was honestly a little concerned um because I was focusing so hard on pool of radiance last night um that like as I was going to bed I realized oh crap I have to like set up for Sunday session still but I was able to do all that already so I'm fine nice. <laughs> um because it was it literally was like as I'm going to bed I'm like oh crap you know <laughs> and I realized I hadn't gotten like Cassandra built or like figured out what I needed to do with the encounters um for the session or things like that but it was I, did. I got up this morning and I basically that was the first thing I did was I focused on that and that only took me like an hour to actually end up doing in the end so it worked out. Very nice. Because <laughs> I like I was also concerned because I'm going I've got the stream and everything as well so like well, how yeah how am I going to fit Streaming the so, you know getting Saturday set up get, or Sunday set up, you know, and all that, all in on um, like one day, and then I did. So I was kind of proud of myself because I was like, "Yay!" Um, <laughs> well, I'm gonna push up your face.
I was going to say, I'm going to push up his faith because I don't remember if it's faith based or if it's reason based that his hero relic is. And then I hit a bad and I was like, Pfft. screw you. Um, oh, that's right. I was having her do reason and authority because I'm like, I'm never using you, so you can just practice your worst skills and I don't even care. Um, because I, I don't honestly have any plans to really utilize her for much of anything. Um, I don't even know if I'm going to do the, do her paralog or not. I, then again, I said that last time, but then I did because she was like level 27 or something like that. Because it was like, eh, I can use her here, I can use her there, just for the extra, like, grinding and stuff that I was doing. So. Um, you. Sword bow. You. That's interesting that Reason would be his um, skill there. And then Axe, Faith. Actually, Brawl, Faith. There we go. And then they can actually start working on their... I guess it doesn't really matter. Um, just because, like, it doesn't give you their budding talent. Um, well, I would like to speak with you, okay? Hey, Teach. I see you're as stony-faced as usual. Hmm. Uh, but it doesn't give you the, but give you the budding talent without, like, teacher practice. Oh, sorry. I really didn't mean to be rude. I just find you fascinating. Actually, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. Can you spare some time? <laughs> sure. That's just the sort of attitude I'd expect from a new teacher. Speaking of, before you came here, you were a mercenary, right? Always getting your hands dirty on the battlefield and whatnot. It's a bit unusual that you suddenly decided to become a teacher one day. In any case, I've been meaning to ask, did your father teach you how to fight? Yes, he did. I figured your father used to lead the knights, didn't he? And I hear he was a legendary mercenary as well. It must have been hard on your mother when you followed in your father's footsteps and became a mercenary too. Never knew my mother. I see. Well, I suppose you grew up moving from battlefield to battlefield with your father. You know, for someone who's right around the same age as me, you certainly have an unusual amount of composure. Hmm. I guess it's only natural that you'd be different from young nobles who grew up in the lap of luxury. You don't seem like a noble either. <laughs> well, even so, I am heir to House Regan, the leading family of the Alliance. I don't exactly grow up in luxury like most people of noble blood. Hey, maybe that's why you and I get along so well. Folks like us should stick together. As house leader, I'll do all I can to help you out. We can start by making time for more little chats like this. Sure. I like Claude. <laughs> well, Many do. Is up. Yeah, I mean, it makes sense once you really start um, getting into Claude's supports and story and okay. stuff. You really start to realize, oh, I can see now why everybody likes him. <laughs> He is a really good character. I'm looking sharp, huh? Also, there's some really interesting things that they kind of almost try to hide. Um, that if you haven't done the Blue Lions route, um, going through this route is going to be your first time, like fighting out um, about some stuff. <laughs> um, it's really interesting. Um, because I kind of have to explore, because nobody has any motivation. Um, Claude, you go ahead and take Archer. Let's 
Easy mode. Raphael, you can take Brawler. I wish Brawler wasn't only a male class. Yeah. But what can you do, I guess? Plus two to magic. For some reason. Not sure why a Brawler class would need magic, but sure. Um, I need some more intermediate seals, though. Ignaz, you can go Archer. Um, Marianne. Let's have you switch to Priest. So that way you can have access to your magic again. <laughs> and then as soon as she hits, I think it's what, level 20? Um, she can take the, uh, the War Cleric. So... Um, I do have a few beginner classes I can take. Let's buy some beginner seals. I don't need that many. I'll just take like five. Should be more than enough. Um, yeah, Shalera you don't need. Lawrence doesn't need. Lysithia is already good. Leone needs a class, so we can do Soldier. <laughs> The hard work's paid off. Sylvain. I actually want him to go monk. So that he can actually start using his magic. Yeah. Because he has, I mean, he has the, the, it's not black magic, but. Um, <laughs> Muscle Wizard is a class in this, effectively. <laughs> <laughs> High ball yeah. this. Yeah, I mean, yeah, War, War Cleric is literally Muscle Wizard. It's both <laughs> fist and magic, so. Go ahead and put uh, Balthus in the monk. Then he can have access to his magic too. He already does, but. He'll give him some magic boosts. Was there a there okay, but Jace can't see Balthus. He wears his coat open, and then he has a chain going across rippling abs. <laughs> right. <laughs> and yep. he has pretty high feet. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. Yeah, he do. That he do. <sighs> Guess that's everybody that needs a beginner class. Everybody else is already in a beginner class, so. Alright. All I needed, I think, four in the end. Let's do an explore. And let's hit up Claude and his like 12 supports here. Um start with Raphael and just go down the list. <laughs> I mean, they don't punch with reason, but they can use both. The war clerics. Aren't those trips usually for food supplies? Why did you pick up a bunch of spears and helmets as well? I was passing by the smithy, and the old man called me over. He said he was finished repairing the training weapons, so I grabbed them since I was over there. I see. Those books. I had just left the smith when I ran into a merchant I recognized. He said he had some books that he brought from the library. So I took them off his hands. Right. And <laughs> Oh, this? Can you believe someone threw this away? It only needs a little work and it'll be good as new. Someone around here was just saying that they needed a desk. Uh, of course. 
Now, this is just a friendly observation, but I see surprisingly little of the food supplies that we actually need. <laughs> well, I uh, worked up an appetite from carrying all this stuff, so uh, I had a snack on my way back. <laughs> well, I appreciate the thought, but you can't get so carried away with helping out like that. You helped us all right out of dinner. And now that I've seen your struggle, I have no choice but to join in this vicious cycle of charity. Here, I'll lend you a hand. All of this stuff is pretty heavy. Are you sure you can handle it? <laughs> and no, I can't. I'll only carry the books and offer my support as you handle the rest. I like Claude. <laughs> you insult me! And no, I can't. <laughs> Ignatz and Claude. so fervently I didn't want to interrupt I appreciate the sentiment but I wasn't praying no what then I was just thinking about the goddess where are you now fascinating please go on not here let's go somewhere else so you were pondering the existence of the goddess then yes all right consider this the archives here have all kinds of texts about the goddess right but when people tell stories of the goddess, it's only myths and legends that glorify her. They probably hope to rake in more followers by glorifying the goddess as much as possible. That would be why the church tends to quietly shove all of their more questionable records under some somewhere. secret rug somewhere. Claude, don't put words in my mouth. That's not what I said. I was just wondering what the goddess looks like. That's the kind of thing I like to think about. What the goddess looks like? Well, I suppose if she really exists, she probably looks a lot like us. In fact, she probably wouldn't be so different from that old woman working here in the dining hall. What if Claude, please stop? The goddess I imagine is absolutely beautiful. How rude of you, Ignis. <laughs> I'm sure that old woman was lovely back in her day. Uh, Claude and Lysithia. Ah, so I see. If one were to combine this incantation method with the power of a crest, then in theory, it should... Hey there. Still studying, are we? Isn't it past your bedtime? Oh, yes, this one. Claude, I really don't appreciate you interrupting me right now. Uh, but if you don't get your sleep, you're never gonna grow big and strong. <laughs> The last thing I need is you fretting over me as though I'm some child. I'm only a few years younger than you, you know. Hardly worth noting. Furthermore, my grades in magic and basically every other subject are far higher than yours. Whoa there. I'm not trying to treat you like a child, I promise. This is me treating you like... like a princess. Now, come <laughs> on, princess. Brush your teeth and get yourself ready <laughs> I could read you a story, if that helps. Ugh, the audacity! <laughs> if you think you're treating me like, it's unendingly annoying. If a child and a princess, <laughs> what's left? Should I prove as a noble hero? Draw your sword, Lysithia. If you wish to continue studying, you must first defeat me in battle. Come now, face me like the hero of legend that you are. I find myself speechless in the wake of your staggering. <laughs> <laughs> now, please leave me. Right. Back. Okay, okay, I can take a hit. But in all seriousness, you shouldn't neglect your sleep. Claude's you crying. You push yourself too hard. Yeah. Oh, and just so you know, I heard a rumor that this library is haunted. <laughs> it's probably not true. <laughs> right? Right. Anyhow, I'm off to bed. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> right? I love Claude. The best, the best part about Claude is that he just knows, you know. He just knows, and I love that. Taken <laughs> my lost soul and revealed a sign to me. 
I've been researching the ten <coughs> photo. I can't tell fact from fiction. Anyhow, what can I help you with? <laughs> well, um, Cut! I Cut! Said it. It's yours. Ah, right you are. Yeah, honestly, I've resigned myself to never seeing it again. It's a keepsake from my uncle, who was passed on. If I truly lost it, my grandfather would have had my head. Thanks for returning it to me, Marianne. You saved my tail. Please, it was nothing. I should be... No, I think that's enough researching for today. Why don't you join me for a nice chat? I just came to deliver the pendant. Sounds awfully lonely to only talk to those who... <coughs> Do you really dislike talking to people that much? It's just... I never know what to say. I'm sorry. No need to apologize. We'll figure it out as we go. Tell me, are you like this with your father, too? Within the Alliance, Margrave Edmund is prone to debate. With a father like that, I would have thought... Margrave Edmund is my adoptive father. Oh, is he? I didn't know. Where were you born? That is none of your hmm. concern. I, um, I really must be going. She's hiding something, that much is clear. Uh, that just makes me all the no more secrets. desperate to know his secrets. Mm-hmm. He's Claude. He's gotta know all the secrets. Hilda! Are you actually reading, Hilda? I thought you hated study. Oh, hush. It's just a letter from my brother. He sends them all the time. Your brother, huh? Isn't he known as a great general of the Alliance and a true beacon of... Don't even start. That's got nothing to do with me. Uh-oh. Better not let your brother hear you say that. It would break his fraternal heart. But all joking aside, it sounds like he really cares for you. You can say that again. He must be rather bored, too, now that the situation is <laughs> on settled down. Ah, the Elmirans, the Eastern Menace, as they're often called. I did hear your brother had fought them a number of times. In fact, I hear he's even gone toe to toe with Nadir, the great Elmiran warrior. Nadir. Nadir, the undefeated, was it? Just another grizzled old man, as far as I'm concerned. But my father was ecstatic when he heard my brother had defeated him. He paraded my father all over our territory. What a pain that must have been for our people. A pain? Any celebration is something to be enjoyed. Celebration puts smiles on faces faster than anything. I'm sure even you at least congratulate him, right? A smile from you would surely mean the world to your brother. Well, sure. Then he got all worked up and started saying things like, I am the protector of Foglin. That's not far from the truth, you know? Why do you think the Almirans have been so quiet? <laughs> They're wary of your brother. If House Goneril of the Border were a bunch of weaklings, the Almirans would have invaded Foglin a long time ago. You talk about it as though you've spoken to the Almirans yourself. Well, I am heir to the leading house of the Alliance. <laughs> Privy to all kinds of information, whether I like it or not. <laughs> you act so nonchalant about your studies, but you know so much about politics and history. You're a hard guy to grasp, you know that, Claude? Oh, I disagree. I'd let you grasp me. <laughs> my hand, my heart, <laughs> my neck. But if you want to know all of my secrets, <laughs> well. Right? Claude can be flirtatious when he wants to be. So it seems. <laughs> His Lawrence and Lysithia. significance I'd like to discuss with you. I know you're always seeking the attention of ladies, but why are you wasting your breath on me? Don't be silly. I want to discuss the future of the Alliance, to have a constructive and candid exchange of opinion. I'm not so sure I'm the one being silly. Actually, I'm busy. Stuff to do. Now, hold on just a moment. House Cordelia will never benefit from such a narrow-minded mentality. I was under the impression you were interested in me as a person. What do house matters have to do with anything? As it stands, the bonds between Alliance Lords are quite weak. If this state of affairs persists, I'm afraid those bonds may dissolve entirely. I couldn't care less. Hmm. House Cordelia may be small, but a small mm. house is fettered by fewer obligations than a large one. Interesting. Apply yourselves actively in diplomacy, 
Negotiate wisely, and you could do much to help maintain peace among the neighboring lords. The recognition of those lords would benefit your house immensely. To that end, why not start with me, the heir to House Gloucester? It couldn't hurt for us to become friends, could it? Yes, yes, of course, when the time comes. But right now, I'm quite busy. Maybe later. Hmm. As it is, I'm studying magic for the benefit of the Alliance, and I would appreciate it if you left me to it. Ah, I see. Then forgive the hmm. intrusion. I will take my leave of you for now. But if there is any way I can be of help to you or your house, I hope that you won't hesitate to ask. After all, as I'm sure you know, the, of the alliance is my Hello, responsibility. Me. Huh? The future, he says. Hmm. <laughs> any foreign it just said yo. Oh. I oh uh, yep, I see that. Hello. <laughs> I was I was looking at the TV, not at the uh thing, so at the stream there. Uh, ooh, Lawrence and Hilda. Lawrence, at it again. Hello, Hilda. Are you kidding too? <laughs> if that's the case, I may have to revise my opinion of you. Increased strength and skill would serve as perfect compliments. How you doing out there, buddy? Uh, no, I <laughs> have something here. Doing good. I don't share your tireless work ethic. You're quite something. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you take a break. When the fate of all the Alliance rests on your shoulders, the rigors of training seem paltry by comparison. Besides, when my admirers see that even an individual of my talent possesses a diligent work ethic, it is sure to inspire them. I see. But I was wondering... <laughs> Never mind. You're clearly busy. Oh, uh, yes. I remember this. Is there something you require? What do you mean? <laughs> there is nothing I cannot handle. The trouble is, I'm no good at fighting. I'm a fragile young lady, not a fearsome warrior. I didn't even want to join the academy, honestly. My brother made me. <laughs> of course. For a delicate flower such as yourself, no doubt battle must present a terrible hardship. <laughs> it does. It truly does. So, I was wondering if, in the next training session, you'd do my fighting for me? <laughs> I mean, I can put on a tough, I'm actually fighting kind of air, but that's not quite enough on its own. Please, leave all of the difficulty to <laughs> me. I shall permit no one to befall you. Ah, I'm so happy. In this case, <coughs> I'll focus on giving a convincingly soldierly performance. You know, Lawrence, you're a good guy. Not that I'd have expected anything less from a noble. With each of your foes that I vanquish, I shall only become ever stronger. Yes, leave it all to me. What a guy. Difficult Hilda, figuring out some way to, you know, push her work onto somebody else. Yep. Lawrence and Leone. <laughs> I trust you're well. Doing great. Doing great. I found a load of old weapons. Just got done hauling them out of storage. Oh, yeah. Old weapons, you say? If there are any interesting swords in there, I would love to see them. They might only be good for training, but with a little care, who knows? Here, have some oil. And uh, why exactly are you giving this to me? Like I said, they need a little care. With a bit of maintenance, some of these will really shine. Yes, I heard you. So why did you give me the oil? It's for polishing, Lawrence. Don't tell me you've never polished a weapon before. That is hardly a task befitting someone of my station. If you had an exquisite blade, something of real historical significance to complement my noble heritage, that would be another matter. In that case, a place <coughs> while you polish, <laughs> you're bound to find something good working through these. This seems as fine an occasion as any to air my grievances. I am a highborn noble. As such, it is my sworn duty to protect the common folk. I have no time for trivialities. What's more, you seem to be under the misapprehension that you can order me about. Please think carefully about how you speak. <laughs> I'm not ordering you around. And I'm not talking to you as a noble, either. I'm asking you to help me with this. As a friend. I am <laughs> a friend, but I am also a noble. Those two qualities are not mutually exclusive. 
Oh, good. Let's get to it, everybody. Ah, <laughs> uh, Lauren. <laughs> Lawrence is the epitome of I am a noble. Yep. He really is. Yes. Time for food. Hey, you're nuts. Is this seat taken? Oh, hey, Raphael. I'm done eating, so you can sit here if you like. Really? But there's still food on your plate. Uh, it's fine. I'm not that hungry. Anyway, I guess I'll be heading off. Oh, okay. Hmm. Hey, you're nuts. Want to train with me? Uh, oh my, that equipment's looking rusty. Let me fetch some oil. What's the matter? It always looks like that. <laughs> Come on, we'll take care of it later. No, nope, you have to do it as soon as you notice. There's oil in the warehouse. I'll be right back. Hey, Ignatz. Uh, hello, Raphael. Are you busy? I need to talk to you. No, uh, that's... Oh, almost forgot. It's time to return this book to the library. I'll just... Hey, 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 hold on. Are you seriously going to keep running away from me? What? No, I'm not... Aww, that's for yes, you no. avoiding Raphael. Every time I try to talk to you, you make up some excuse and run. What's going on? You were a lot friendlier to me when we were kids. You were always so excited to show me all the neat stuff you had whenever I came to visit. We played hide and seek with my little sis, draw pictures, and do other fun stuff too. Remember all that? Things... Can't be the way they were. It's regrettable, but it's the truth. Regrettable? <laughs> What's there to regret? I mean, you know, what happened to your parents? My parents are the reason your parents died. Hmm. What are you talking about? My parents died in an accident while traveling for work. Maybe so, but they were taking over for mine because they had other business that day and couldn't go themselves. So, they recommended yours to fill in for them. Huh. I didn't know that. But, what does that have to do with our friendship? No, but see, I... Oh, I see. But we're done talking about this. You've got to stop beating yourself up over it. It was an accident. Hmm. He's just putting on a brave face. No one is that forgiving. <sighs> that one is a sad mm. one. Very sad. Death and Lysithia. Out for a stroll, are we? It's lovely weather for it. I might go wander outside myself. I'm sure I can see some beautiful sights. Ignatz, hold still, will you? Uh, sure. Your shoes are in. <laughs> it looks sloppy. Let me just fix it for you. Oh. Clearly that's not the case. Otherwise this wouldn't be an issue. Now hush. Um there we go. Thanks. You've also got awful bed head. <laughs> what? But I examined myself in the mirror before leaving my quarters. It's the back of your head. Quite unkempt. <laughs> you really should get it together. I mean, really. You're born to a noble adjacent merchant family, aren't you? You really should be more presentable. Sorry, Lysithia. You're always so perfectly put together. In fact, I'd say you're perfect in all respects. I don't think I've seen you fail at anything. Well, consider that if I make even the slightest mistake, everyone will treat me like a child. There's nothing to hate more than hmm. that. I see. Well, I think you're very mature. If anything, you may be overdoing it somewhat. I mean, people treat me like a child sometimes, but I like it because it reminds me that other people care about me. You know, no matter how much we stretch, some things are always beyond us. I think it's fine to be vulnerable and ask for help sometimes. Ignatz, are you really lecturing me about how I conduct myself right now? You're a sheepish, unreliable scatterer. <laughs> And Lysithia, what is it exactly what you're doing? Uh-huh. Anyway, I've got things to do, so I'm gonna go. Uh, 
I think she's projecting on to Ignatz. Yep. She really is. What was I called for? After all, I am older than she is. Oh yeah. That's that's kind of their whole dynamic at the beginnings between them, so there we go, Lysithia and Hilda. be hopping off here soon because it's 12 30. right and i'm having kitties meow at me <laughs> kitties meowing telling you to go to sleep yeah well after this support we can hold off on <laughs> doing the others um I can just do like the exploration and stuff. I don't. I mean, there's probably nothing, um, really to see since we've already seen it all. So, unless of course I completely forget because I get sidetracked by something else and we come back next stream and we're right back here. <laughs> Careful, he'll go after your something. And you smell delightful. Like candy. <laughs> or wait, mm -hmm. am I catching a hint of floral? I'm so glad you noticed. It's oil extracted from a flower that only blooms at night. Floral oils, huh? I didn't think they had much use outside of homeopathy and house cleaning. I have some right here, actually. Here, I can give you a splash. Hmm. There we go. I put it on your wrist, so you'll want to rub them together. Body heat is what activates the scent. Your wrists and your neck are relatively warm, so they're good spots to apply the fragrance. For a very subtle fragrance, you can also try putting it under your clothing. <sighs> so, what do you think? Mmm, it's lovely. Now I smell just like you, Hilda. Somehow. This makes me feel much more <laughs> mature. Thank you. <laughs> so that's it. She just wants to feel more grown up. She's hard to read, that one. That smile, though. Who knew she could be so cute? <laughs> yeah, we still got quite a few left, it looks like. Most of them are Hilda. I think no, it's just Marianne Hilda. There's all they're just all over the place is what it is. Um Yeah. But yeah, we can uh stop here um and come back and handle more uh next stream. <laughs> um so uh with that, um since uh, Mist is heading out, uh, I think I'll go ahead and just end it here for now. Again, if you really <laughs> want to see, you know, the like every bit of this game, um, we did do all of this, you know, in the Blue Lions route and everything. Um, so it's it's really not that really like it's just a generic exploration day. There's almost nothing different. <laughs> um, it's literally just going to be like 10 minutes of me running around doing a couple of trainings and then food and then that's going to probably basically be it. It might even just be the foods. <laughs> <laughs> um, but yeah, I hope you enjoyed. If you did, feel free to subscribe. You can check the video description down below for a link to the playlist uh, so you can get caught up on any of the streams you missed. Again, these are streamed live over at twitch.tv slash serene inc. Um, 
Or you can come uh, see it live, hang out with us, chat, and so on. Indeed. <laughs> and with that, we'll see you guys next time. <laughs> see you later. See ya. <laughs> that I'm gonna be hopping off. Talk to you later, Em. <laughs> see ya.